Okay, let me just get the chat set up correctly. I'm a novice, getting all this stuff sorted out. <clears throat> just get the link for the chat. And hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. Test the chat. Hello. Hello. Let's see if that works. Chats there. Okay, so the chat's working. Maybe we'll get quicker at doing that in future. I think I like that will be okay. Let's get the emulator. Actually, let me get that screen like that. That's muted. So I think I think we're set. I think we're ready to go. So now. I edit the stream, make it public, and you can all watch. That should be it, we should be live. Just a little more to the side. I think that's okay. <clears throat> ah. Yeah, you are first. Can you hear me okay? Thanks for popping in. I'm new to this streaming from the PC, so just let me know if the audio is okay, please. I'm an amateur. I'm an amateur at the PC. Hey, Power Slave, how are you? Hope you're feeling better today. So, what happens if I click that? Yeah, you know, that's my cat. Well, that's my cat scratching herself on the table. We're just going to start from this so I don't have to watch all of the cutscene at the beginning. <laughs> I've watched the cutscene a lot while testing this out. So, can you hear me okay? You can hear good and clear, thank you. Uh, I see that you're a fan of this game, aren't you, Rezzy? I think you've reached the Shadow Temple, haven't you? Shadow Temple? Hey Cosmo, welcome. Yeah. So I know the music, the music is kind of on the lower side, but I would prefer that than it being too loud. There's not any echo, is there, from the TV? We'll just check that. Hey Luna, sorry I've missed your first message. Oh, and you know what, I've got the Master Quest as well. I was considering doing it, but I thought, I'll save that for another time. But I can remember when I played the Master Quest, um, 
when you get to Jabu Jabu's stomach, there's like cow's heads, isn't there? There's cow's heads inside the temple. That threw me off. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> okay, sorry if I'm missing your messages or anything. I'm just like getting to grips with all this OBS stuff. It's a bit overwhelming. Like there's so many like screens and stuff on the, the screen. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to grips with it all. I'm an amateur. But I want to play N64 games. Modern games aren't quite doing it for me. Hey, how far did you manage to get, Resi, in uh, Tomb Raider 1 now? You know me like your brother. <laughs> I'm glad you do. I don't know anything about you, but I'm glad you know that. So for the most part, I can see the chat from here, but I mean, I've got the phone with me as well, just in case I need it. So you're not getting too much pickup from the TV itself, because I'm actually not got eight, I've not got earphones in at the moment. You're in e oh, I think the Egypt levels are probably my least favourite. You know, the Egypt ones, they're my least favourite. This is totally not an emulator, guys. I promise it's not an emulator. I promise. Hey, Lem. How are you doing? Can Lem hear me okay? It's time for a good adventure, guys. A tried and tested great adventure. We've got to start. I'm going to turn my TV volume down a tiny bit. City of Cameroon, yeah. I don't mind the obelisk level as much now. But yeah, they're not my favourite levels, the Egypt ones. You can hear me perfectly, that's brilliant to hear. I was thinking actually, you know, before I went live on stream, I thought, should I have a little image window in the corner? Make the chat a bit smaller and have an image window and put one of my cats in it for fun. I might try it next time. <laughs> For all the cat lovers, they can have a cute cat to look at whilst we play. I'd be all too cynical and too... Oh. Hey, Razzy, when you play Unfinished Business, there's a trophy where you have to kill two senators in this arena with just pistols. Uh, have you done that? I did it. I, I kept saving between damaging them, <laughs> otherwise I would have failed. So who in the chat's actually played this? And I apologise again if I miss messages. Because I'm the chats are much smaller than the PlayStation. So I'm, I've got to get used to this like new setup. I don't know if to look at my phone or if to look at this screen. But for the most part because I've just not got a, I've actually not got a web camera on this computer yet. I should probably get one at some point. And yes, at some point I will do that, but for now, you can just hear my lovely voice. <laughs> Princess meet my brother. Luna, I'm not your brother. Well, okay, I'm your brother. We'll pretend we I'll pretend I'm your brother. <laughs> so we need to get 40 rupees, I think. 40 rupees. Also, if I had a camera at the minute, the, the position of the camera would be pretty bad. I think the camera would be like looking up at my nostrils at the minute because I'm sat on the floor near the PC. I'm not actually even on a comfortable chair or anything. <clears throat> but in the future, hopefully, we can get like some kind of camera set up. So I believe there's some money in there. Don't need the money in there yet. Let's just get five. Oh, there's some coins up here. Hey, Cosmo, by the way, in case I forgot to say hi. Yeah, the camera would be too far up my nose. Always nice to meet. You. Yeah, it is good to meet. You. I'm glad. Yeah, you know what, Rosie? I'm glad I came across you and the other channels. It's been a good thing. It's been a good thing to come across you all. Lem's got. 
bun a bunch of gaming consoles. <laughs> Hi Ben, look this way. Look over here with a Z and talk to me with A. Imagine if someone said to that to you in real life. Look over here with Z. I'll be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, enjoy your food, princess. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hey, Matthias, thanks for subscribing earlier. Did you enjoy Jason's stream? It's time for Zelda, guys. We're doing it. We are doing Zelda. You got a Deku shield. You, you have fun on Jason's stream. Came from Jason in the stream. I know where you're from, Mafius. I recognize you. I pay attention to everybody. The best I can. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the poor things are neglected. No, we're not buying anything else. So, I've got my sword, I've got my shield. Totally not an emulator, guys. <laughs> uh, it's strange the game can emulate everything except an image of Link, okay? Is everyone having a nice day so far? Here's my dough. If you want to see the great Deku tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Got them. Got them both. Hey, Lem, guess what I got earlier? Super Mario World. Oh, yeah. I'm going to play that sometime. Super Mario World. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp. I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be one of the favourites of Siri and the great Deku Tree, huh? How did you get to become a god? That's the question. <laughs> Alright, so... You see these... Okay, so I mentioned this to someone yesterday, but you see these here, these Deku plants. Okay, so these Deku... These Deku sticks are actually stronger than the Kokiri sword. So they're not as useless as you think they are, these. These are actually good for killing bosses as a child link. They're good for killing any enemies as child link, actually. So I'm going to grind a couple of these at the minute. Or take a few of these sticks. Who knew the sticks were better than the sword? Come on. Alright, let's equip the sticks. Yay, love it. I will watch if you stream. I was in Colchester GX and they had two Game Boy Doctor things. Yes, yeah, she did. You just mentioned Dr. Mario just the other day, didn't you? Yesterday, literally, actually. Yeah, there is a Dr. Mario on Nintendo 64, you know. I never saw that in the shops. Uh, ever. It must have. It, I don't know if it came out in the UK, to be honest, but there is a Dr. Mario on N64. Oh, we've got to listen to the Deku tree grumble on a bit now, haven't we? I guess what I've got here next to me, guys. I've got some chocolate cake. Cookies and cream flavour. Mm -hmm. I don't think Phantom's here, Luna. He's not here. I think his game crashed when he was playing earlier and then he vanished. Because he was annoyed. He'd already been playing for four hours. The only console you think you need. <laughs> what do you do? Do you store them in boxes, in in the wardrobe, or do you have them like, on displays or anything? I've been cursed. It's even in red text so we know that the curse is really bad. I need you to break the curse of your wisdom and courage. Yes, I believe I've got the courage to take this task on. I believe in myself and I believe in us. We can do it, guys. Navi the Fairy. 
Thou must aid them. And Ben, when Navi speaks, use up um, to listen well to her words of wisdom. Okay. Of course, we know this. We played the game back in 1998. Packed away safely in a cupboard. Uh, I use a. Oh, that reminds me. You know what I used to have? Well, you don't. But I'll tell you what I used to have. Oh, one second. I've got Deku nuts. Let's uh, get them equipped. Oh, you get five for each. Oh, you pick. You get five. Up at, you get five at a time. Okay, so what I used to have was a Super Nintendo. A snaz, and it wouldn't work properly. You you had to turn it upside down for it to stay turned on. So for it to remain turned on, you'd have to turn it upside down. I don't know why that was the case, but I used to have to like turn it on quick, flip it upside down, and then it would stay on. I used to have to do that. <laughs> so I want to try and collect as much as I can on this game. I assume you've played this game, Len, in the past. <laughs> We've got the map. What's that, Luna? Feel like you've had your lunch, yeah. <laughs> Did you grate your carrots, Luna? Did you manage to get your carrots all grated? You can open the door by standing in front of it and pressing A. Uh, by the way, just curious for the people in the chat. Hey Gareth, how are you doing? No, seems okay. People are saying that it's fine. Did you get an alert on your phone? Because the stream was private and then I made it unprivate. And did it send an alert out still? Does it sound okay to you, Gareth? I can't guarantee it will work. <clears throat> I've not got my earphones in. I've just got I've just got the audio from the TV playing. Let's avoid that. <laughs> you didn't get one. Okay. I mean, not everyone. You might. It is. I mean, no, it depends if you've got notifications on, I guess. Hey, Matthias again. Oops, my microphone fell off. My favourite... One second, let me get the microphone back on. I've got, like, this really awkward vest on. Okay, can you hear me okay? My favourite Zelda is Majora's Mask. What about you, Matthias? What's your favourite Zelda? Do you remember you needed a playthrough of this, Gareth? Have you still got it unlisted on your channel? Privated? I forgot what was in this chat. I think it's just a heart or something. Rupees? No, it's a heart. Oh, well, tw I like Twilight Princess. Oh, I think that's a good game. I've actually grown to like that more over the years, Twilight Princess. Not played it for a long time, though. I actually don't even need to shoot that down. Did you like Twilight Princess when you played it? I think the footage was weird. Oh yeah, because like YouTube changed the like, uh, they changed like the dimensions of things, didn't they? It's happened to some of my old videos. Yeah, you should record or do a Majora's Mask one. Got to go now. See you, Ben. It's fine. See you later, Matthias. I appreciate you subscribing earlier on. Daku seeds.
I think it was a pretty good game. Kinda a bit nostalgic for it now, to be honest. Thanks, Matthias. I'll see you soon. See you soon. So you didn't get an alert, Gareth, so you must have just logged on YouTube and saw I was live, yeah? Uh, I don't need to even fight that yet, do I? It's funny because I've actually kind of forgotten things a little bit. Not much, just very vague, vague things. Hey, see you soon, Lem. Thanks for popping in. I think this is the most, like, lame temple, isn't it, really? I have notification of that one, so, okay. To be fair, I don't think YouTube always gives out notification. It's a bit <laughs> when I was testing the stream out yesterday, some random new people were showing up, and I was like, I'm not playing for long, guys. <laughs> Remember, the Deku sticks are stronger than the sword. Come on. So like one jump, one jump swipe with that and it kills them. I think with the sword it takes two, doesn't it? I don't know who DJ Tiesto is, Luna, to be honest. Who is that? <laughs> Yeah, that's I want to try and get as much as I can. I don't think I'll 100%, but I'll get as much as I can. I forgot, is the, is the 99 of them or 100? I forget exactly if it was 99. I think it's 99. I don't remember it going to 100. I'm actually kind of not looking forward to the water temple because I can't really remember what the heck you're doing it. It's funny because this is a game I, I thought I would never forget anything about, but actually I'm realising I've kind of forgot some stuff. Okay, well, I guess we'll jump in. Did you, did you ever play? Did you ever shit the microphone? <laughs> One second. Did you ever play Twilight Princess when it was mirrored on the Wii? Yeah, I did have it on GameCube. If you remember, um, one second, let me get the microphone back on. So if you remember, um, I had the GameCube one, and the disc somehow got a slight scratch on it, remember? And I sent it to that place where they repair discs, and they said, oh, sorry, we can't repair it. Even though it was the smallest scratch, it was too deep. Which was annoying, because actually you could sell the GameCube one and get good money for it. I was a bit annoyed that it didn't work. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll have a nice weekend. Hope you have one too. Thanks. I'll uh, see you soon. <laughs> Thank you.
Where, where was the flame again? Where, oh yes, yeah, turn this on. Do you remember when Neil used to live up at that other house and we used to go over? Remember that? I can remember when we was there when we were looking at like a news article on a laptop they were talking about the new Twilight Princess game coming out soon. It's crazy to think it was so long ago now. When we're playing Street Fighter and stuff. What was it? Three, two, two, three, one. Remember this classic? <laughs> Third Strike. There were some good games on that Xbox, weren't they? Actually, there were some good games on it. Yeah, they were good Capcom fighting games. I'll have a bit of this cake, see what it's like. Cookie cake. Hmm, not bad actually. I'm surprised, Gareth, that you can't hear the TV audio being picked up in the microphone. Because I've not got the earbuds in, so I'm kind of surprised you can't hear it. Oh yeah, you did buy it, didn't you? Is that is it the one that's kind of transparent a little bit? I'm going to use the Deku sticks on the uh, boss, see how quick it goes down. Okay, let's just try two slashes with this. Okay, so it's still one slash on those. Hey Jason, how you doing? Have you finished on Mafia 3? <laughs> Maybe. Does it sound okay though? Does it sound okay at least? Are you still playing Mafia 3? I just need to get used to where I look. Like the chat, I don't know if to look at my phone next to me or at the screen at the side. You're tired of playing this say so yeah. It happens, don't you, on like big games I guess. You kinda end up doing the same thing and in the end. You'll notice I'm repeating what I did yesterday. We'll get to the exciting stuff soon. Exciting stuff exciting stuff soon. Well, you can hang out here a bit, can't you now, Jason? Feed your cats and hang out here for a bit. Gareth. Okay, I think Jason said it's okay. Great beyond. Well, Gareth, remember I told you about that person while I was watching stream in America and he's got four cats? That's great beyond there. He's got four cats. The ones that are called Creamy, Scruffy, Baker, and... Oh, what is it? Creamy... <laughs> I forget the last one. Creamy, Baker, Scruffy. Hey, welcome back, Princess Tycoon. Oh, hey, hey, Keith, thank you. Are you on Resident Evil 4 at the minute still? Gareth, did you ever finish Resident Sniffles? That's it. Gareth, did you ever finish Resident Evil 4 Remake? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, they be a slave to the cats. <laughs> Uh, which door? Oh, oh yeah, there's no point in Well, I guess I could burn it in advance. I'll, you have to come all the way back here, don't you? To get the school tooler beyond that door. You need to do the last bit. And the, and the age of DLC is out now. Hope you enjoyed your food, uh, Princess. Uh, I've always liked that noise on. I've, I've always liked this noise on Zelda. You know, that like rattling noise. Like I, I guess it's meant to be like the. I guess it's meant to be like the fire flickering and burning in the. I've always liked that noise. Oh. Yeah, you know, I don't think I've ever finished the Master Quest version. Hey Ian, how you doing? I don't think I've ever actually finished the Master Quest version. I don't remember where I reached. If you're there, Rez is still. Which would you say, te which temple is like the most trickiest on the Master Quest version? I can't remember how far I got on it. It wasn't very far. I know I reached probably the Forest Temple. Oh yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised if I get a little bit lost in Wood uh, Cory's Temple. Like it's funny because I never thought I would forget anything about this game. I've always thought, yeah, it's just one of those games I've played so much I'll never forget anything. But I'm like, now I'm starting to think like, eh, I think I might be losing my memory a bit in regards to this game. <laughs> The Dongo's Cavern, that one was pretty tough, you think? Oh, I seem to remember actually when I did play it, I do think I got frustrated in uh, the Dongo's Cavern. I do think I did get frustrated there thinking about it. It was a long time ago. So the Water Temple wasn't too bad then in the Master Quest. Oh, it was confusing, I spoke too soon. Well, Water temples confusing all the time. To be fair, I had to I had to buy a guide especially for the water temple back in the day. I had to spend like ten pounds or whatever on a guide just for that one temple. So there was no real internet sites that were useful back then. Yeah, it, it is easy to get stuck in a way where you think you can't go anywhere because you think you've got no keys. It, there was a, there's a place behind them. Oh, I've done this wrong. It's two, three, one. Beyond the uh, block of time in the water temple, there's a. Uh, I mean, behind the chest is a block of time. And it's easy to miss it. Okay, I'm going to use the Deku, uh, Deku sticks on the boss. How did you know our secret? Because one of your friends snitched on you, that's how. I'm honestly kind of looking forward to playing Majora's Mask again. 
not played it for such a long time, but I am looking forward to it. Sorry about that. Oh, may as well get that heart piece. Well, heart portion. Do you remember on the Switch version of this, they when they first put it on there, it, it kind of glitched uh, when you fought Dark Link. Like the room was strange; it didn't emulate properly. Oh no, the room's empty. I better leave. <laughs> There's totally nothing on the roof. With a big orange eye. Go in there. Okay, let's try. So, Deku not. Oh, he got up quick. Okay. I thought the Deku nut would stun him for quicker. I've actually never seen him do that before. Open the eye. There we go. And you get the stick out. Don't you lay those eggs. Three swipes with a Deku stick. Well, that's the least interesting uh, dungeon out of the way, I would say. The training dungeon. One of the cats is here. Oh, she wants to go out. One second. I'm back. Yes, because even if I say no, you're still going to tell me. So we'll listen. So enjoy the cutscene. I wonder. So, what is it? I usually do the Shadow Temple before the Spirit. I almost want to try and do it the other way around for once. Like, do the Shadow Temple last. So I've, I've got the ice arrows, and I can shoot Bongo Bongo's hands to freeze them. Because you don't, don't normally get to do that. I'm, I'm shocked that, I, that I, you can do that. That they actually had that in this game, that you can freeze his hands. Because it's an item that you don't need. And it's, on a, it's like a boss that you would fight usually before you would even get them. I wonder what the name of the planet is that our role is on. Because it's clearly not actually Earth. She gave sky boxes to the land.
Imagine creating Hyrule only to let it be destroyed by some guy from the desert. <laughs> hey, Suhable. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, like these goddesses create Hyrule and then the guy from the desert just comes and destroys it. The sacred triangles have become known. And the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. I'm guessing you're a Zelda fan, Sue so Hable. Oh yeah, Jason. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor. Yeah, the desert man you know, armor to lay his hand on the tribals. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. I did used to think this was quite sad as a kid, this bit, to be honest. My end is nigh. Which is your favourite Zelda game? Sue Hibble. Am I saying your name right? Sue Hibble. Come on, let me go on the adventure. Let me go. Let me leave. Let me go on an adventure, man. Meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you. The stone that that man wanted so much that he cast a curse on me. Link's Awakening. Oh yeah, that is such a cool game. Do you like the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color version, or the? Um, do you like the uh, Switch one? That looks pretty nice. Kokiri Kier Emerald. Okay, so my niece, so Louise, she uh, has a, a, a jewelry set, and it's all three of the stones. Like little uh, brooches. You like both, yeah, that makes sense. I like, I, I have not played the Switch one. I've not played the Switch one, but I have played the Game Boy Color one, and yeah, I did love that. There's that mini game at the start where you pick the Yoshi doll up with a uh, crane. Let's go to Harold Castle, Dan. Yeah, let's go. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. Well, we're going to be coming back here later on, maybe, to get a Skultula, a Golden Skultula. Yeah, come on, mind, don't blame me. What did you do? The great Deku Tree, did he die? How oh, could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Yes, go away. And fade off. We don't need to see you anymore. Trying to remember where you get the bottles from. I know you get one from the chicken lady. Oh, my cat's opening the door, coming back in. I don't need to really hear you, Navi. I know what to do. <coughs> oh, you're leaving. She looked real sad then. She actually looked quite sad for an N64 game. Quite some emotion there. I knew that you'd leave the forest someday then. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Yeah, I think there is one at the ranch actually, yes. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Listen! Watch out! <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and then in Majora's Mask you get um Tattle, don't you? Tattle, and she keeps making sarcastic remarks to you. I forgot actually that you had a different fairy in Majora. I did kind of miss Navi when she left, even though she only sees those three things usually. Hey, listen, watch out. <laughs> she looks so sad just for an N64 game. She actually did my strength look real sad. You have the actual instrument. Or is it? Is it the beige coloured one? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Once, yeah, that's true. Once he gets the ocarina of time, he's like, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave this one that you gave me with sentimental value. <laughs> I can remember. I can remember the first time I got to this bit. I was like, oh, oh wow. <laughs> I had to like stop playing for a little bit because I was like overwhelmed. I was like, oh my god, look at this big world. <laughs> hoot hoot, Ben, look up here. Not this owl. <laughs> can we just skip past this dude? Because you dude can talk forever. Go straight this way and you will see Hyrule Castle. You want me to princess? There. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Oh, you've got the Ocarina of Time, that's cool. Can you play it? Are you actually able to play it then? A flashing dot. Okay, that's cool. Did you get all that? Yeah, I sure did. Oh, the pea hats. Just to, oh, there we go. There we go. It's happening. Hey! Let's have a look. There we go. Hey, listen. The, gate, the great Deku tree wanted us to go to visit the princess at Harrow Castle. Shouldn't we get going? Okay, so, but you know the thing? The thing about Navi? She's kind of created these characters that you go on and get, like... So, in Jedi Fallen Order... And games like that, you get the B B little B droid with you. That's because of Navi. You get these little sidekicks with you because of Navi. It's kind of pr gone into other games. Uh, hey, Joke Games. No, I don't have a Twitch channel. I just stream here. Thanks for joining. It looks like you're an N64 fan based on that avatar that you've got. Technically, I do have a Twitch channel, but I forgot my login details for it. I forgot my login details. Do you stream jockey games? May as well kill these till the morning. I used to, like I've got a Twitch channel in theory, but I've not used it. I can't sign into it at the minute. It, look, he's getting. See how he's getting bigger. Lot. If you, the more you kill at night, the bigger they start to get. And if you put a cheat on, so it's constantly night time, they just keep getting bigger and bigger, so they're like giants. It feels like it just became daytime really quickly. I've not seen you before, Jockey Games. I guess you can, you're can new here. Wow, the sun goes really quick. Can you imagine if the, sun, if the days pass this quick in real life?
get some rupees. I think there's actually two red ones over there. I used to love this room when I was a kid. Oh, I forgot that was there. Because I put the chat there, that's why. <laughs> hey, Doc, how you doing? Doc. Doc, did you get a notification or did you just stumble upon me by chance? <laughs> yeah, big C, I put the chat there, that's why it's there. And actually, uh, Doc, this is actually where on the test stream I left off. So you've just arrived at the perfect time, and I think you've timed that on purpose. You pretend you're not a big Zelda fan, but I think you did it on purpose. You came at the exact mo the area where I left off last time. Oh, that's okay. And that's cool, that. It's good to know it sent out a notification. I wasn't sure if it would. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bazaar. Let's show some bizarre people in here. I heard a rumor that there's a monster that eats Hylian shields out there. I forgot about those. I haven't seen it yet, but I will eventually. What was you watching? Someone dying on Tomb Raider for the first time. I think we need to pay a visit to the Temple of Time. Really, just for a bit of a uh, meditative moment. This used to look so cool back in the day, didn't it? This it's like still static imagery. Mm. This used to be so chilling as a kid. Oh, you meant you was actually watching a TV show from LA Law. See this then, Doc. Since you've not played the game, behind this door here, this is the Temple of Time, okay? Behind this door here, there's a pedestal with a sword in it. And if you pull the sword out, you travel seven years into the future and you become Adult Link. And before I do that, I need to collect three uh, jewels that go on this stand. I've got one of them. But there is actually a glitch you can do where like if you do this crazy like setup and then you do some like kind of like jump you can actually like glitch see that there like very little narrow little slit in the door if you do it precisely you can get in there I can't do it I don't know what you do but I just know that that's what happens hey Mark how are you doing are you having a good day <laughs> Just take the TARDIS or the DeLorean. Actually, yeah, let's look for the DeLorean. Let's have a look for it. It might be around the castle somewhere. Yeah, I can't do that glitch. I've never practiced it and it's a really um, advanced glitch. Hey, your clothes, they're different. They're not from around here. Look at that woman, what is she even doing on the left? Is she scratch, trying to scratch her shoulders, a short, broad shoulders, or is she dancing? I'm doing fine, thanks Mark. Have you done another cooking stream yet? <laughs> Made another chili con carne live. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk and he hasn't come back yet. Some very creepy people. Okay, so this is actually something that's quite interesting, this bit. Not this person. She's doing her exercises in the public square. 
Oh, the guy's not here yet. So at one point there is a guard. Uh, there's a guard in these back alleys. You don't usually have to come around here, so it's very rare you would really see him. At some point there is a guard laying against the wall. And you talk to him, and eventually, after you finish talking, he dies. He's like one of the only characters in the game that kind of like just dies like that. What platform is game on? This is on the PC, <laughs> but N64 technically. You want to play a game for 20 rupees? Yes. Let's play a game for 20 rupees. Okay. I'm ready. Oh gosh, this is going to be tricky. I think. On this controller. Ah, oh, missed. Uh uh, once you miss one, you're missing them all. Try again. The sensitivity of the controller. This is the one that comes out. Ah, oh, I missed again. Uh, I can do this. Ah, oh, if I didn't miss that one. Just give me a free try. Oh, I got it. Yay, did it. What's my gut present? The seed bag. It's dead fiddly on the switch, is it? I'm just streaming from the PC, yeah, through OBS. Yeah, Gareth's my uh, friend. Who I've known for like 20 something years. He lives down the lane from me. <laughs> he helped, he's the one who helped me set this up so I could stream. So if you don't like Zelda, and you don't like the fact I'm streaming Zelda, that's who you can also blame. <laughs> Oh, let me get the microphone on again. I need to get a better clip for this or something. I think that should be okay there. Right, so we've got a bigger... Can you get the masks? Yeah, I forget. Wow, look at that, look at that outfit. That's some good pink outfit that is. What a strange shop. I wonder when it'll be open for a business. <laughs> yeah, a few characters probably got no feet. Time to progress with the adventure. Oh, not this owl. Come on, do your speaking. Let me continue. The princess is inside the castle just dead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Hoo hoo hoo. On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you are in Lon Lon Right Try. Yes, of course it does. To get caught on purpose. Is that what you have to do? Get caught on purpose? I think you do, don't you? You destroyed a gold scutula. 
Has it been? Uh, I assume you don't work at weekends, Doc. When I was first playing this game, I was sick. I didn't know know what to do. Then I'm like, oh, you have to climb up these vines. I'm sure if you shoot that, you get some rupees. I'm sure you do something and like money comes out of it. Yeah, well, let's get caught then. Hey, you stop. You kid over there. So now... Does Malon spawn? Yeah. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? No, but you've got some cleaning to do, so the game will suffice, I guess. <laughs> Your first Zelda game was on the... what? Which uh, Zelda game was that, Mark? Was it... Game Boy... which... which Zelda was that? She just called me a fairy boy, Doc. Would you mind finding my dad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll find your dad. You've been incubating an egg. Okay. You got a weird egg. Was it uh, Zelda Link's Awakening, Mark? Oh, right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I need the egg to hatch, don't I first? Wait, time does time pass normally in this part? Yes it does, okay. I mean I have to wait for the egg to hatch. Hey Doc. I'm getting requests for Tomb Raider 2, you know, already. When's Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 2 starting? <laughs> and then I've got people who are like, I'm bored of seeing Tomb Raider. <laughs> oh, there's one, uh, there's a game, oh, there's two Zelda Game Boy games I've never played. Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. Wonder if I can do that thing where you let the butterfly touch the stick and it turn into a fairy or something. Have you ever managed to do that, Gareth? Yeah, it's been weeks, as in like what? The other day. Oh. So if these butterflies touch the end of the stick, they will turn into fairies, apparently. Yeah, Link's Awakening. Go on, touch the end of my stick, butterfly. Come on, butterfly, touch the end. Have you ever managed to do this, Gareth? Get the butterfly to touch the end of the stick? I'm sure it, it's a real thing. Did you take down a game? Take down a game. Uh, no, I started. I started a stream. Maybe I started a stream yesterday, and then I got too tired to play. Oh, what a chicken! Actually, on the egg. Yeah, I started a stream, but I was just so tired that I just ended the stream and then I deleted it. That's what happened. If that's what you mean. They just want to get back to Ben's first attempt at a team made better content. Yeah, we're on there struggling and dying. 
I know, I think people forget though that I, when I stream that, I'm like streaming what I'm doing in the game. <laughs> like I do like to do things 100%. I like to do things 100%. Yeah, I'm too much of an expert to read one now. Yes, definitely. I watched it, but there was no sound. Uh, I don't... Oh! I don't know what you mean. I don't know what stream that was with no sound. Hopefully, if this is a video with no sound, it's gone. <laughs> I've got a chicken in my pocket. Look, Doc, he's got a Bowser brooch. He's got a little Bowser brooch on his chest. And he looks suspiciously like Mario. Oh yeah, I actually still need to do those collapsible tiles. I still need to do them collapsible tiles. And to get the last couple of deaths. Probably meat, skin, Laura, like you say. Yeah, yeah, it goes crazy on this bit, doesn't it? I went to the castle to deliver milk. But I sat down here to rest and I guess I fell asleep. He was just bouncing around YouTube. Yeah, I figured he was trolling me, but I didn't really like fall for it, so I guess he laughed. <laughs> I was just like, what, really? I mean, I could see it hadn't crashed because I could see it on my screen. I I'm like, I I can see my stream on the same screen I'm playing as well. It was good that it clicked on it though. It was, I guess my I guess my video was just suggested to him, right? And he clicked on it. I'm pretty fine. I'm pro I'm fine with that. I don't mind someone trying to give me a bit of a trolling. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot, it would take a lot to get a rise out of me, let's put it that way. I don't need both boxes, do I? Oh, I think, yeah, one drops in the water. The stream had no sound, but in the comment, one guy said, why is he doing, what? Who was doing a fake accent? His stream had no sound. I'm doing a fake accent. Where did they assume I was from? America? <laughs> they probably thought, well, someone from the UK shouldn't be awake. How do they know how do they know my accent is fake if they don't know where I'm from? <laughs> oh shit, I'm here at night time, that's a, a mistake. Yeah. So unless they came to my stream to watch and then they commented, it was like, if they don't know where I'm from, how can they say my accent is fake? And if they've never actually seen me before in their life. That just goes to show the intellect of people that uh, follow big streamers sometimes. Silly dumb sheep. You see, you get these like little weirdos that like to follow big channels and they think they're being edgy by saying stuff, but it don't make no sense. 
I'm still uh, still night time. Come on, let the chicken. <laughs> it didn't really work then, did it? Didn't really work. Didn't really work. Can you imagine having like a following there like that and that's what you're doing? That's pathetic. But to be fair, it didn't really do anything to me. It just says the stream was down. And it was like, not really, it's working. I'm like, oh, okay, that's funny. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, have you just fin finished Resident Evil 4? It's weird. I actually saw a video earlier where like there was a big streamer and he was harassing this girl, this like small girl streamer. It's like there, his chat was like piling on her, and it's just like, are they scared of other people getting a, a slight bit of attention over them? Are they really that scared? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what my subscriber count is to be fair. Yeah, he just finished part one. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm sure he does other stuff too, but it's still strange if that's what you if you want to do. But to be fair, that I just saw that as a little joke. It didn't bother me to be honest. I have, I've had worse people in here. And I st they still come in quite regular. <laughs> uh, I assume you've played this game before, Keith, Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, they're very weird, aren't they? I do... Th to, to me, if you're following like a massive, 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 massive channel of millions, I feel like you've got to have a bit of a sheep-like mentality. All oh, this is cool and edgy, this is. So I think those people don't have much... Of, some of those people don't have much of a brain, I don't think. Because, like, how can you say I have an, a fake accent when you don't even know me? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know why I'm so I can you say my accent's fake. They probably just assumed because they're from America, oh this person's American putting on a fake British accent. <clears throat> Spiritual stone in the forest. Yes, we do have it. Hey, by the way, Doc, I didn't realise, but Final was actually on my PSN friend list. I didn't notice. And I need to use the real American accent. <laughs> Zelda, I've got things to do. Come on. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. She's got like lime, lime green, lime green eyebrows. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot you have to sit through this cutscene. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't realise he was on my friend list. I totally forgot. To be honest. Get the microphone back on. Come on, Dot. What's your favourite SNES game? What's your favourite SNES game so I can stream them, Dot? I'm just trying to put my microphone back on if you hear noises. Fell off. <clears throat> That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. Yeah, are <laughs> they packed away? In order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. Ocarina of time. My cat's coming over. Is it time? Is it time? Yes, I understood the story. You were spying. You were spying. When did you move? Oh, my cat wants to go out again. Can you see the man with the evil eyes and the massive bloody nose as well? Look at the shape of his head actually, the profile of his head. He swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he is not sincere. At the end of sep oh okay, you've been there a while. Time to unpack the PlayStation. Come on, Zelda, please be quiet. I want to get on with the adventure. Yeah, is that the Triforce? The Triforce. He wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. I don't believe you. Oh, okay. That would be good then. Doing the randomizer would be good. I'll see you later, Gareth. Yeah, we'll find the other two spiritual stones. Take this letter. Look to write in the letter. Now we've got this chore out of the way. See you, Gareth. Hey Dot, look here at this little Easter egg. Look at this little Easter egg here. In the windows you can see uh, the pictures of Mario. Peach, Mario. Bowser.
Oh, it's Impa. Hmm. I am Impa of the Shakers. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? Sure are. My role in Princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I've played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Left up right, left up right. That's how I'll remember it. Left up right, left up right. <laughs> You've learned Zelda's lullaby. Ah, oh, now we're out of the castle. We can get to the fun parts now. Exciting part. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. I actually like this part of the game in the minute now. So you're on your way to Death Mountain to get the next spiritual stone, but you can kind of, the game opens up a little bit, so you can kind of do a little bit of side questing stuff. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Right, let's go. Okay, okay Keith. Thanks for stopping by. Bye bye, take care, Keith. Uh, I want to go to the farm, I think. Go to the farm first. Hopefully, before it's night time. Please don't get, don't become night time. Oh, it became night time the second I got the. <laughs> Does it matter if it's night time yet? Yeah. It might matter. Ooh. Don't know if I can get that yet, yeah, that's cool too. Huh? Yeah, I can't get that yet. Oh god, I hate you. I don't think there's a lot to do in here at the minute. I think there's just that heart piece. I think there's just this heart piece here. Oh, 
I bet Tits McCoy would like these cows look, though. <laughs> How could you not like them? I'm sure you don't have to, uh, yeah, you can just pass it. There we go. What an interesting room. Almost feels cozy. One second. Hey McCoy. How you doing McCoy? Did you want to present Breath of the Wild? And no, I've not even played them, uh, McCoy. I've not even played them to be honest. I don't have a switch. Don't even have a switch. I'm too poor for a switch. <laughs> hey McCoy, hey McCoy. I got accused of uh, doing a fake accent even though the person has never seen or heard me before. <laughs> I'm like, you don't even know where I'm at, you know what my accent is like. A fake accent, okay. That's brain dead folks for you. <clears throat> You have a jailbroken switch and downloaded both. Oh, I won't mind one of them. <laughs> I won't mind one of them. <laughs> so have you played the or have you played Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom at all? The accent drop. <laughs> yeah, ever uh, did you play them at all? There's lots of rich lore. There's lots of rich, deep lore building up on the channel, which is pretty good. I don't know how I feel about Tears of the Kingdom, though, I'll be honest. I don't know how I feel about Tears of the Kingdom.
because I don't know, it just seems like it's based on like building things and physics and I don't know if I'm bothered about. It. Breath of the Wild seems a bit more appealing than Tears of the Kingdom to me. But yeah, I know there are long, long, long games, nine hundred plus hours. YouTube is recommending my own short to me. Could you please play this song of Doc's Divine? I've got to learn it yet. I've still got to learn it. Let's get the chicken. Should we get the chickens to get the milk, the bottle? Oh no, my chickens! You want a fake accent? I'll give you one. This is it. What should I do? My cuckoos have flown all away. You little boy, please. Please help me bring him back to this pen. That's a fake accent, my friend. Alright, so we'll have you, little chicken. I actually find this music, Kakariko Village music, to be quite depressing. I know a lot of people love this music from Zelda games, but personally, I find this soundtrack, this tune in particular, a bit depressing. I don't know why. <laughs> for <laughs> for ten themes for all. Ah, jump off. That window is actually like disconnected from the house. Look, you see that. That window is not actually on the house. Oh yeah, you need to follow it over, don't you? <laughs> Can you believe he packed his PlayStations away in 2022 and he's not unpacked them yet? Dark, narrow, scary, well of three features. That seems like something Tits McCoy would say, that does. Dark, narrow, scary, well of three features.
I'm assuming you 100%ed this game, McCoy. Time to jump. Yeah, don't target him, just climb on the roof. Look at this guy. This is the guy that was angry at my accent. You have no right to be angry at my accent. You accuse me of things you don't understand or realise when you wear bloody clothes like that. You've never finished any 3D one, really? You, what, you just played the 2D ones, I guess? Picking you up. Is there one behind? Yes, there is one behind the windmill. I want a sandwich. I want a sandwich. I'm pretty hungry. Maybe one more chicken. Oh, I've done it all. Oh, hang on. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. Five. I think there's one more chicken. Um, I'll have any kind of sandwich that you're offering, Doc. As long as there's not cheese on it. I need to get back to playing some Lego as well, Lego City Undercover, probably do that, I'm uh, not sure what day I'll do that. There's one more chicken missing, hmm, I think he's up here. It's all you've got in the fridge, cheese. You do have some what? Sorry, you have some tuna in the pantry. I'll have a tuna sandwich. I'm up for that. Guess what I did? Guess what I made a thumbnail for earlier, McCoy? I made a thumbnail for a game. Guess which game it was? I don't know when I'll play it yet, though. Yes, I got an empty bottle. My work. How many scotulas do I have? 
six. A little kid roaming around the graveyard. A oh, little kid, he's just walking around the graveyard. I need to get the ocarina on the uh, C button. Uh... <laughs> Do you like them really, do you like them like really smelly blue cheeses? Them like cheeses with all that mould on. What's interesting about the royal family's tomb here is the way that they just discard all the bones, they just like... They're not even like in coffins or caskets or anything, they're just like thrown into a room of bats. Those who break into the royal tomb will be obstruct uh, obstructed by the lurkers in the dark. <laughs> what does that sound like? Lurk is in the dark. Just use it on sandwiches, mostly American. If you don't mind cheddar. Wow, that is a huge freaking skull. Look at that. I'd love to know what this royal family were because they didn't look human to me. Shine light on the living dead. Oh yeah, I need to use the sticks. Oh no, I need to kill all the bats. Actually. Where the hell is it now? Yes, the royal family, uh, the royal family tomb's door is connected to the life force of the bats. Oh no, not these things. The head humpers. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. Mm. 
new the new what film? What's that? What's that film? Secret melody of the composer brothers. Write down or 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 I forget what I can do with this on song at this point. The royal family tomb is full of crazy acidic poison. Hey. Uh, McCoy, I've got Shadows of the Empire as well. If I want to play it, <coughs> oh crap I go. Not interested in you. Just gonna do a bit of grave robbing. You've got a Hylian shield, that's what I wanted. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire Star Wars Shadow of the Empire You know the game and the story that takes place between the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi What is it Pirates of the Caribbean or something? Dampy the dampy the gravekeeper. Oh, okay. So, if you let him dig in a specific spot, you will get a, a heart piece. It's random, and he takes. Forever to walk. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait for him to come here. I wonder if I can stand in his way and he doesn't move. Okay, so I'll do this one, then I'm gonna get a quick run to the kitchen and grab something. You know a show I don't understand the obsession with? Oh! That's perfect, that's what I was looking for. Oh, Planet of the Apes. Oh yeah, the Planet of the Apes fan club. Yeah, I just, I couldn't see what it was. Like the acronym that you typed. That's perfect, I wanted the heart piece. thought that was going to take longer. Wow, this, was, this looks like Resident Evil 1. This is creepy, man. The Gravekeeper's Diary is here, do you want to read it? Do I? Oh my god, look at this. The gravekeeper the gravekeeper's diary. When I dug a hole I found a treasure that stretches. Boing and shrinks, boing, it's so fun. I'll never give it to anybody. That sounds a bit dodgy, don't it that? Nah, looking back at that. That's got to be an it's sick Nintendo joke, surely. I found a treasure that stretches boing and shrinks, boing, it's so fun. That's definitely Shigeru Maimoto having a laugh. 
gas mask. Our hair is school too, look. Have you played many Game Boy games, Doc? Like Game Boy Color or anything like that? To be fair, I didn't play a lot of Game Boy Color games. Oh shit. Oh, another one. Where is that? Is it? There's 99 of these in the game. These called Scutulas. You don't really need to get all 99 though. You don't really get a reward. For getting past 50, I don't think. Yeah, I played Super Mario Land. I used to like playing a bit of Tetris and Columns. Of course, most children nowadays wouldn't know what those are. You never had a Game Boy Color. Oh, let me just put my phone in this charger. On YouTube, I'm on the main page, I just saw a video, it's Nibiru Planet X approaching. Somebody's filming the sky claiming that this Planet X is uh, arriving. Planet X is on the way, guys. Alright. This is Ben, he's under my orders to save Hyrule. Have you played the link to the past, McCoy? Surely you've played the link to the past. Somebody arrived in the chat earlier and he says to me, are you on Twitch? And I said no, and I've not heard from him again. Hey bad boy, how are you doing? You having a, you having a good day? I might do this mask quest, it's kind of pointless, you don't really get anything for it. I might do it, just for fun. Yes, I'll get the mask for you, sir. Thanks for popping by, bad boy. Doing great. Just chilling and making... Oh, yeah, I enjoy I enjoy making thumbnails, do you? I actually, I find it therapeutic, making thumbnails. What are you making thumbnails for? Is it top secret? 
it came out on the Super Nintendo McCoy. The, a link to the past. Snaz. Right, let's get rid of that letter now. I'm not going to read that letter anymore. I enjoy, yeah, I enjoy making thumbnails. I was doing it earlier. I think I need 20 skull to 20 gold to do <laughs> Yeah, there are hand, there'd be a handful. What do you use, bad boy, to make your thumbnails? What do you use? What, like software or program? Pits McCoy, I thought you knew everything, dude. I'm, I'm shocked you don't know everything. I thought you knew everything. Nothing behind here, okay. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. I use Photopea. Basically Photoshop. Basically, oh, but it's getting cold in here. I think I have to play the Song of Storms to him. I forget what it does at the minute now. Oh no, is it the Song of Song? Or do I play the Song of Storm? Let's just try it. Right down or. I don't think that's right. Oh. Oh no, it wasn't right. Never mind. When did you... Uh, when did you learn English? When did you like fully learn English, do you think? Neither is Doc. <laughs> You're a fan of me though, clearly. Yeah, I yeah, I did use Photoshop but it makes my PC it makes your PC crash and you gave up. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, Photoshop it's quite demanding on your PC, I think. Am I going to get that mask? Oh, you've been to Ireland, have you? It's like it was meant to be. It's like you were meant to go to Ar you was meant to go there. I'm gonna install Lego games. Give me a few minutes. Okay, no problem. What Lego games are you gonna install? Yeah, Lego games are chill. Oh, I'm actually looking forward to playing some more Lego City Undercover, to be honest. Your fave weeb, how you doing? Thanks for subscribing earlier. You doing okay? Let's go and get that mask. I'm doing okay, thank you. Are you doing okay? We're just on the way to start this mask quest. Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. Who would have thought this character? Who would have thought this character 
would be like having such a big role in the next game. What's your favourite kind of games? Your fave weeb? Yeah, I could play Edith Finch. What the... Uh... Yeah, I know where you're from. I, I recognise your name from Jason's stream. Yeah, so what are your favourite kind of games, your fave weeb? Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> Got the mask, let's get out of here. Well, I want to play Edith Finch, but I'm still wondering like what to do with like the chat and stuff. But she says I should take the chat off, so it's more immersive. But I just haven't decided what to do with the chat and stuff yet. But yeah, I, I, I want you to play it. Plus, I want I want you to be around when I stream it as well. And I don't know when you're around. You like RPGs, multiplayer games, FPSs, story-driven games in general. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. What are your fa what are your favourite RPGs exactly then? Have you got any favourite RPG games? Does that say Fallout? I can't see because that like heart emoji things like covering the com covering the message. I assume that's yeah Fallout. I can see it now. I've played Fallout. I've only played Fallout Four. I know it's not people's favourite game. Here's the mask you wanted. Um. Is that a key something character mask? Yeah, I've only played Fallout 4, but I think most people like Fallout 3, don't they? Oh, I, I love Mass Effect. I played all 1, 2, and 3, 100%. And I did start Andromeda, but I never finished it. Yeah, I was doing that base building in Fallout 4. I enjoyed Fallout 4. And I always liked having the dog for the companion. Even though I know he's probably not the best companion to have. I liked having him with me. You like, yeah, we can build your own things in general, yeah. What was that game that they brought out? Starfield. What did you think of that? I, I, I think a lot of people didn't like Starfield, did they? Oh, it's night time on Death Mountain. I see. I assume you've played this before, your fave weeb. Used to play a heck of a lot of Minecraft and you still love it. You're playing it with your cousin. Yeah. I've actually never ever played a Minecraft. Runs like trash. I think I've heard a lot of people say it runs like trash. And they said there's like a lot of. Because it's kind of like. Isn't it like procedurally generated? Some of it, and some people say it's like pretty boring just walking around and looking at me. Thanks for coming in to hang out, by the way. Your fight, fave weeb. Oh, it's becoming daytime. Oh, it's made for Xbox. Hmm. 
I wouldn't mind trying to get that there. There's a heart piece down here, and if you hang angle yourself correctly, you can get it. There we go, got it. <laughs> you meant to use a magic bean to float up to get that. But you can just man you can just manipulate the angle and backflip off. Doc, how can you not like these adorable creatures? The boring. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm the same. Your fave weave. I like. I like Uncharted one to three in particular. I played one to three in particular of Uncharted, the Uncharted series. I played L Divers one, not number two. As for the last, I when the Last of Us first came out, I loved it. I think I'm a bit tired of the Last of Us now. The hype over it, and I don't know. I'm a bit tired of the Last of Us. The first one is still a great game, now, I'm not going to say it's not. Well, I guess I'm. I guess you're the kind of the same. Because she said a bit of the last of us. I've not played the new God of Wars either. Are the new God of Wars like good then? Yeah, and I've not played Minecraft. Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh crap. There's lots of different kind of versions of Minecraft now, though, isn't there? Though? I don't fully understand like all the different varieties of Minecraft. Yeah, it's like they've, like they've redone The Last of Us 1, The Last of Us 2, The Last of Us 2 remaster. It's like... Uh, Naughty Dog, you're really milking it now. The Last of Us TV show, you're milking it man. Neil Druckmann, you're milking it. You built your cousin's entire village in Minecraft. <laughs> That's cool. It does look like you can do some really good stuff there. There's any kind of like adventure story mode in mine in Minecraft. That's what I don't get. Is it like some kind of story or adventure mode in it? Um, well, I need to start these fires. I forget how I do this. Um, oh. Have you played the Zelda games, your fave weed? Uh, where is that? Oh. Look at that, oh, that's a hint, the hint of the second boss carved onto that, painted onto that wall. I remember being a kid seeing that and being a bit frightened, I'm like, uh oh. Oh, oh you played Breath of the Wild. Oh. My microphone fell off. Flip that back on. Hopefully you can hear me okay now. One second, let me just uh Oh god it's getting really cold in this room. It's getting cold in here. Um Alright, where do I get that torch from? Oh, I think it's in this thing here. I can need my chat back. Let me see my chat. Let me get my chat back. There we go. Okay, I can see the chat better there actually. 
The Last of Us show was good. Plus the film particularly partially in your city. Oh that's cool. Yeah, it did look pretty good, the visuals of it. The visuals did look good and I've heard people love the show. I guess I'm just a bit the last of us fatigued, you know. A bit tired of it maybe. I've actually forgotten what I need to do here. And Tits McCoy and Doc can't help me because they ain't got a bloody clue. Is it over here? Hmm. Kind of funny, I've forgotten what to do. That's funny. That's cool. It's always cool when things are filmed where you like where you live. Yeah, I've never played Breath of the Wild actually, because I uh, I don't have a Switch. You've never played Zelda either, Ian. Have you played anything today, Ian, or haven't you had a chance? <laughs> Joins the club, yeah, the club of non-Zelda players. The only Zelda stream where the people in it have not ever played Zelda. <laughs> where is this? I bet that's it. I bet that was funny to recognise them, and obviously they've made probably made them look like apocalyptic. So you've seen places you recognise in like an apocalyptic setting. Do I have to play the Song of Time or something? Oh, I think I'll play... Oh, what's the song? You haven't played much Zelda. You played GTA Double Money. I had a look at your channel actually, um, your fave weeb. You haven't uploaded a lot of your to your channel yet though. I'll still subscribe to you. <laughs> I think. No, that's the wrong song, I think. Oh, it's no, I think it is the wrong song. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's the wrong song. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I need to do now? Okay, so look at this. There's actually an hole in this roof. Look here. See this hole in the roof? And it does nothing in the old game, like. They must have like designed the map. I knew it was originally going to go up there and do something, but there's not actually anything up there if you float and go out of bounds. Intriguing. So I've got to light these torches on fire now. That one. Oh. That one. Doc, what's your opinion on Banjo Kazooie? Do you plan on uploading Hell Divers 2 content? I think that's cool. I've not, I've not, like, I've not played Hell Divers 2, but it does look pretty fun. I've played the first one. <laughs> yeah, like a Tomb Raider remaster skyline. <laughs> Please tell me somebody likes Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> you never played it. You're not going to like that, I bet. I bet you don't like Nintendo 64s, do you, Doc? Really? So I can't buy it. Well, I don't need to buy any of that stuff to say, but I also cannot buy it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I played L Divers one <laughs> back in the day. It was like a a top down game, wasn't it? Oh. Yes, I'm British. Hey Corey, how you doing? Hey, it's good to see you, Corey. Where the hell have you been? Yeah, I'm British. How did you guess? How did you guess your fave weeb? How did you know I was British? Although I got accused of having a fake accent by somebody. <laughs> You're drunk again, Corey. <laughs> what, on wine or...? I never had one, so oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, one second. Oh. <laughs> I can't, I can't mute, I can't mute, and I'm passing wind. <laughs> this microphone doesn't have a muter on it. <laughs> oh, I liked Mario Kart. It's got some good music in it. You lived in the UK. I'm from Nottingham. Your favourite weeb. Where did you live in the UK? Corey, do you like Zelda? Please tell me you like Zelda Core. What was I going to do? I was going to check something on my computer for a second. Um... I like that chat there so I can see it. There we go, that's better. Oh, I should catch these bugs. So, it, I'm going to catch the bugs in a bottle. I'll tell you what they do later. Oh, I know, I've known of Northampton. Oh, cool. So, you've actually. And now you're in America. That's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Northampton. So, how come you lived here? Are, are, are one of your parents British or. Okay, so this is interest. This is the Lost Woods. For those that don't know, this is the Lost Woods. And the only way to find your way through these woods is to listen where the music's coming from, on these different entrances. So if I go out there, I'll get dumped back outside. Oh, you're in Canada, yeah. Mm -mm. This is not the correct way, but I can still come in a way. Oh, what? I have to play a song for him. What song is it? I think I have to play serious songs for him. I'm not sure. Oh no, don't you have to follow along with the music he plays? I forget. That's not quite. So oh, he wants to hear a serious song. Okay. Polish descent. Ah, oh, okay, that's interesting. You've got an interesting uh, descent. Yeah, so those bugs that I caught in the bottle, if you let the bugs go into these little dirt patches, golden scatulas, a golden scatula should come out. There we go. I don't know how the game expects you to know that. I can't remember if it tells you or not. I've been a bit busy and my IMAC shut down twice the other night. And I'm drinking wine and yeah, I do like Zelda. Absolute classic. Oh, it's good. I'm glad someone here likes Zelda. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll carry more Deku stick, Deku stick upgrade. Carry up to 20 of them. Thank you for that. 
Fun fact, I'm probably one of the only Northern Canadians you'll ever hear from, in case you don't know Nantucket. Canada's population lives near the US border. <laughs> you live as far away from it as possible. <laughs> You're not a big fan. <laughs> you like Tomb Raider better, though. <laughs> You're not a big fan of Canada. Your fave weave. Where you live in Canada then, is it snowy or is it nice and sunny? Apple Oh, you've got some popcorn as well. <laughs> Not a fan of us Yanks. <laughs> Where's my microphone? <laughs> it's very snowy there, okay. You know, I have this like fantasy I live in Canada in a cabin where it's snowing away from all of human all of the human race. Where is that little game here? I think you have to follow along with their music. Follow along with us. Our, uh, follow along with our song on your ocarina. We'll lead you into it. Right, left, right. Right, left, right. Right, left, right. I used to write this down with a pen and paper. Right, left, right, A. Right, left, right, A. Right, left, right. Oh, what's your D button? Right, left, right, A. Someone type this down for me as we go. <laughs> right, left, right. Right, left, right, A. Right, left, right, A. Right, left, right. Oh, I did it. Surely that's not it. Oh no, you, you, you have to play it for longer when you get an art piece. I'm going to leave it. I don't give a damn about that. Yeah. Right, Move to the big city. Oh, Edmonton. One second, guys. I just need to grab a drink of. I just need to get a bottle of water. One second.
I'm back. I don't know who's still there. Let me know who's still there. <laughs> Let me know who's still there. Ben should have done 007. World is not enough. I've never played World is not enough. I'm back. This way. Oh, I don't think I. Oh, I don't think I can go that way. Yet. You need a bomb. I think. Of course, this is a classic. Have you played anything? Have you played anything today? Yeah, I know. I know roughly what it's like. I know it's kind of like Golden Eye. Uh, uh the wolves. Oh, let's see. Uh... So you 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 play Hell Divers on your um, PC, I guess. Wow, I kill it instantly. Your fave weeb. You played Hell Divers two on your PC, I guess. Or do you play that on the uh, PS5? Is it on PS5? I actually have the uh, Golden Eye ROM. Not played anything today. Just making music. Oh, what, how do you make music? Like digital music on a like sound sample things. Or do you actually play an instrument? I'll dive as two on PS5. Okay. Did you ever play Dead Nation? Uh, no, not well. Yeah, Dead Nation. It was Dead Nation. And then there was Alienation. Did you ever play those? <clears throat> play most games on PS4 or 5 or Xbox. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I liked... Um, I liked um, Alienation. It's gone all quiet here. Yeah, we're ready. Down, right, left, down, right, left. Oh, drink of water. How smart he made that game, didn't he? I don't remember. I, to be honest, I don't remember who made it. I liked it. It was a twin stick shooter, though, Alienation. I enjoyed it. It was fun. I liked it. Oh, yeah, I did like it. So I got serious song. Keyboard into a music workstation. Oh, I play keyboard. Oh, so you actually do. Do you upload music to YouTube then? Or do you not upload it to YouTube? 
So I've got serious song now. I head back. Head back to the Death Mountain. Um, the fairy fat. Well, I guess I can heal. Does anyone else here ever played Alienation or Dead Nation? Do you remember when there was that years ago? There was like that PlayStation outage because it got hacked or something, didn't it? And then they gave you the option of like because the this the network had been down. They gave you an option of games that you could play for free. You could have a game for free. I think one was Little Big Planet, one was Dead Nation. There's a couple of others. I think I chose Dead Nation because I already had Little Big Planet. No, I don't want to hear that again. You're going to upload music soon to YouTube. Well, let's get out of this wood. Um, so the next real goal, I guess, is to get the bomb bag. The bomb bag. Let's get the bomb bag. Oh, this guy wants to hear a serious song. I need to remind myself of serious song on this. Uh, down, right, left. So who would have thought that this, you see this here, this little school kid, this essentially, in a way, becomes like the main villain in the next game. Who would have thought that? Spoilers for Doc. Hmm. Oops, well, I've messed that one up. What was it again? Down, right, left. <laughs> oh, nice. An art piece. Hey, Phantom, how you doing? I noticed that your stream crashed. The, well, Evil Within one crashed, didn't it? It's such a the Evil Within games are so like they're always crashing. <laughs> when I was trying to go through Evil Within two, I do that achievement where you go through classic mode without saving, and I get blue screened. That's one of the reasons I ended up cheating on Evil Within two to get that trophy. Because the the fear of the blue screen was too much. Yeah, but you're doing well on the Kumu mode, Phantom. You're near the end of the game, and I would say you I would say you've got through the worst bits. I would say you've got through most of the worst bits for sure. You've got rid of the dog. You've got, yeah, chapter 6 was horrible. You got through chapter 6. Yeah, the chapter 11 skip was good to jump over that. That saved a lot of fighting and a lot of ammo. Yeah, that was good that you did that. It only took you like, what, maybe three times to do, didn't it? That was good. 
That bit was annoying that you was on though. When you're inside the that carousel music, yeah. That carousel bit gave you a rough time. It killed. I died a few times there, but not quite as much as you. I'm never going to live in that. You're <laughs> never going to live that down. <laughs> yeah. What else is there? There's... You you did a good job with that amalgaman boss though. Amalgaman Alpha, whatever it's called. In the parking lot. That was a good fight that you did. Come on, I want to get to the second dungeon. It was it was doing a lot of bullshit. Do you remember that time when you shot that... um? You shot that um, enemy on the floor with the gas tank and he somehow got up and grabbed you when you weren't looking. Well, yeah, he did. He got up and ran towards you. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Will you be playing any more Evil Within tonight or is that enough for today? Phantom. You're going to play some more, you mean? I think when it comes to Dungeons as Child Link, I think the Dongo's Cavern is probably my favourite of the three dungeons you do as a child. Okay. Well, I'll try and watch you stream it then if you do more later. It should pop up on my phone when you begin. Ah, does the stream look phantom, by the way? Does it look okay? Might be a short stream. Okay. You got the Goran's bracelet. Now you can pull up a, pull up bomb flowers. Yeah. What do you What do you think of the stream quality, phantom? Is it okay? Yeah, I think I'm the only Zelda fan in the room at the minute, though, Phantom. <laughs> Everyone else here has not really played Zelda much. <laughs> I would, to be fair, I wouldn't say I'm a big, big Zelda fan. I'm a fan of some Zelda games. I've not really been interested in the newer ones. I'm interested in certain Zelda games. Ben, like I said, for my nephew gave me a PS4 and only cemented how shit modern game is. <clears throat> yeah, for the most part, I do agree. That older games are better, for the most part. I love PS3. Yeah, I'm, I'm starving. Tits McCoy of Tomb Raider too. Sorry, you're looking a bit skinny over there, McCoy. Starving for Tomb Raider. I do agree that the PS3 had a lot of good games on it. It did have a lot of good games. Did you guys ever play the Resistance games? Resistance 1, 2 and 3? I never played 1 and 2, but I played number 3 and I thought it was a really good game, to be honest. I played co-op with my brother through it. It kind of had like classic FPS old school feels to it. Felt I, I think that was a good game. Hey, hey, Hilly. Morning, Ben. Yeah, I played Zelda Twilight Princess, but sold it on my Wii together. It, oh yeah. Oh, on the Wii, using the nunchuck. Yeah, they did release Twilight Princess on the GameCube and you could use a controller. They've also released Twilight Princess on the... Um, they've released it on Switch or Wii, it was Wii U and you could, yeah, they released it on Wii U as well so you don't have to use the remotes. But yeah, Twilight Princess was a good game. That's I've become a bigger fan of that as time's gone on. 
<clears throat> um, so I'm going to use this dog. Yeah, Twilight Princess was a nice game. I think the ni I think the nineties, the nineties to the PS3 era was the best time for gaming, honestly. So I think you're both right, to be fair. So you've never played this one then, Hilly? Ocarina of Time? How's life in Australia at the minute? White as rain. I saw that there was some um, attacks in Australia. In a shopping mall or something. I guess you've seen it on your news too. Oh yeah. Yeah. I bet you'd probably enjoy playing Breath of the Wild, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, Twilight Princess had a real nice spooky atmosphere to it. So this is the second dungeon now. This is the second dungeon. So at the minute what the goal is the goal is to get um all three of these stones. I've got, I've got the Kokiri emeralds. That was the first one. And there's two more dungeons as child link. I've got to get the fire stone and the water stone. So the, that's the first set of tasks. And this dungeon is how I will get the fire stone. So I've got to get through this dungeon. Oh, haven't you? It was, that's strange. It was on the UK news this morning. Apparently, like, a bunch of people got stabbed in a shopping mall. I was it in Sydney, I think they said it were. The nineties of the Baby baby the dongos. Look at these, they're babies. They might be babies, but they're explosive. Oh, he's pulled away. Can you imagine giving birth to an explo to an explosive baby? Maybe I can get them to blow this door up. Oh, oh, right, yeah, because obviously the time difference. He's still in bed. Oh, that sounds nice and cosy in bed. Come on, babies. Oh, they, they vanish. Yeah, I'm just chilling on Zelda for a bit, Hilly. Okay, I guess no more enemies, that's okay. Yeah, I don't blame you. To be honest, I don't really watch the news much. It just happened to be on in the background and I saw it. I can remember that um, video you uploaded years ago, Willie, and he was like, how many things move on the news? Like, there's all those different logos and banners moving and stuff, and he was like, why does everything move on the news, <laughs> on TV? Why does everything move on the news? Oh, wrong way.
<laughs> Did you ever play the Mass Effect games, Nilly? Or were they too much for you, then? The Mass Effect games. I don't know if you're into that sci-fi setting. Yeah, I remember that. It made me laugh. And it's true. Why does everything? Why was everything moving? Just like this is moving. This is moving. <laughs> I don't blame you for not watching the news. Yeah, they're really good. Hey cat, get away from my food. Yeah, I've actually been wanting to play through this game again for a long time, Illy. But I just never had, like, the motivation. I thought, well, if I play it, and I just stream it, then I kind of feel like it just gives me a bit more reason to do it. Oh, my cat's sticking a little wet nose on me. What are you after? You will not want this food, cat. Uh, okay, there's a little secret here. I don't know if I knew about this as a kid, but there is a secret here. Um, I think it's, it's either here now. Or next to it. I think it might be here, the secret. Yeah. So there's a secret heart in here. I don't know what, why I go to the effort of making this. Like they made this little alcove behind the lava. Which is like one heart you can pick up. Why do that? <laughs> it's funny. They could have just put a heart in a pot like this. I forget which is the way I need to go now, is it? <laughs> That's not really helping me. <laughs> I think it's that way I need to go. Someone blocked you. Who? I don't know. Hey, get off my plate. I mean, there's only you and Hilly talking at the minute. <laughs> as far as I know. The Dongo. Oh crap. Oh, do you have to hit the tails? Uh oh. Health, health, give me health. Oh crap. Low health, low health, low health, low health. Oh there we go, heart. I would say still two thousands was better for gaming in the nineties. Hey Ian, you still there are you Ian? <laughs> what are you up to Ian? Watching a few different things. Oh, 
I put a comment and it was blocked by YouTube. Well, it, sometimes if you say certain words, YouTube randomly decides to like. Or, or it could be the top chat. It might be on live chat. If you've not got the live chat on, there's a thing at the top and it says top chat and live chat. Maybe you've got the top chat on. I have the top chat on my stream. So you might not see some messages that are in the actual live chat. Oh crap. Kick. Never really used kick. I think people are saying, aren't people moving to kick rather than twitch? I think people are moving from Twitch to Kick, aren't they? You blocked chocolate, why is that? Yeah, and some bad microtransaction stuff. Oh, <laughs> you're kidding. I thought you might have been true. <laughs> oh, please let me find some energy. My heart, my heart noise is driving me crazy. Give me a heart. Yeah, YouTube might. YouTube does sometimes just stop messages if it they say certain words in them. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh crap. Maybe we can stop that beeping noise for a second. Right, so I should be able to go through here now. Yeah, that's a good question. I know I've said something in someone's chat before. A certain word, like if you say, like sometimes, for example, if you do a sentence and it's something like kick, so say, for example, kick and head in the same sentence, YouTube will somehow read that as like kicking the head and as like a violent thing. I feel like I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, what the?
à. Die. Oh, thank you. Get away from me. Oh, this cat, she can't decide what she wants to do. In and out, in and out. Yeah, a lot of people love Half-Life 2 and they're still waiting for Half-Life 3, aren't they? Uh, not gonna happen, I assume. Uh oh, quickly throw it. Oh. oh, I got it. I always thought this bit was really cool as a kid. <laughs> Just like triggering that and the steps coming now. <laughs> hey, Patty, how you doing? Good to see you. You know what? I think sometimes they might, you know. Even though they have like all day, like I don't game for that much of the day realistically. Like they have a lot of time where they could have my attention, but they just don't want me. I could go to stroke them, they run away from me, or they go to sleep and ignore me, but as soon as I sit down to game, they suddenly want me all the time. So you that could be a Good point, actually. Like, they suddenly want the attention because they get jealous. I know, uh, it's crazy, Ian. Can you climb up that? Oh, I forgot you could climb up this. It doesn't look like you can climb up here. One second. Come on, Right, I'm back. Did I haven't downloaded Get64 yet, Patty. I forgot. <laughs> oh crap. I forgot you could turn the map off. Is my microphone okay? I've just reattached it. It like clips onto the collar. I'm just checking it's. Yeah, Corey, you got to have a favourite game you love. <laughs> Meow and sit and look at it. Yeah, when I was setting the stream up, I was going to just have for fun like a picture of my cat in the corner on the where the touch where the chat is in the corner, like just a picture of the cat for fun. One of them. Maybe I'll do it one day. <laughs> I always thought this bit was cool as a kid. It's this long bridge that you jump over. Hey Hilly, so if you're in bed still, have you got the curtains closed so it's darker? Oh, there's nothing nicer than like when you're in bed and you've got your curtains closed and you're just relaxing in all night, snug, snug and warm. <laughs> I'm almost making myself want to go to bed. An early night in bed sounds brilliant, you know. When am I going to play Lego again? Probably what Sunday tomorrow. I might play some tomorrow or Monday. Why are you going to watch me, Patty? You're going to watch me if I play some more Lego. Oh crap!
Oh, I keep putting it down. I I'll tell you what though, Perfect Dark 64 came out in 2001, and that's one of my favourite games. Oh, that was a good throw. Nothing sounds better than like getting in bed. Oh yes, blind shut. That sounds perfect to me though, Hilly. Nice and dark. Nice and smug. snug. You will be there the moment the live right, you love Lego. You like you love Lego like, City Underworld. Lego and City, Lego Undercover. You'll be there the moment the notification comes. Would you be there the minute the notification for ghouls and goblins popped up? It's Sunday and quiet out. Yeah, it sounds nice to be honest. Oh god. Oh crap. Get away from me. <clears throat> Get away, I want those hearts. Okay, okay it's that one to shield. Come and get me there. So the sticks are actually stronger than the sword. <coughs> That's the funny thing. See, the sticks are really strong. You would come even before the notification. This game is so It is a pretty cute game, isn't it, really? This is a N Nintendo 64 emulator. I'm playing it on PC. I'm just streaming the emulation of the Nintendo 64. Uh, I've already came that way, didn't I? I think I came that way. Let's check. Or is it just a room that looks similar? I think it's just a similar looking room. Yeah, that made me laugh, Hilly, where you was like, yeah, on, Val on Valheim, where you just float around now. It makes sense, though. Like, if you've explored all the landscape, what's the point trudging around slowly, you know? If you've if you you've kind of done everything you need to, just float to where you need to go, I guess. I need to I need to turn that uh, Gex sixty four review into a short patty. Do I really want to bother with that? I don't think so. I actually should be close. I'm closing in on the boss, I think. <laughs> Look at that. Big Dodongo head. Oh, I could help you with that. There's a website called. Um... I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I'll send you a. Have you got a message on like your community tab? I don't know if you've got anything on your community tab, or I'll just send you a message on one of your like your newest YouTube videos, and I'll tell you. It'll be easy for me to do that. You can just find there's an emulator site. I forget what the name was, and you can just like download an emulator, and then you get like the ROMs. You just download them. You you like they usually win zipped, so you just get the file out. Then you can just play it pretty simply. You might need an Xbox controller or a controller that connects to your PC, which I assume you've got anyway. 
Uh, so I got 20 bombs now. It's not too tough to sort out. Yeah, it's not too tough to sort out. Catch up on some of these games you've never had a chance to play. Need to recreate it. Well, the Gex, I don't have the Gex cartridge no more. It went in the bin. <laughs> no, I don't think, I think I took it back out of the bin. I think I just sold it. Very cheap. Okay, I'm close to the boss now. What are you up to, Patty? Are you just watching this stream or are you doing something else as well? Do you know when you've played games, have you ever like thought to yourself, oh, I've never been there before? Like, I played this game a long time ago, years ago, like nearly 20 years ago. And I don't think I've ever actually stood on this particular bit here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been there before. Corey likes the original Tomb Raiders mostly, 1 and 2. Resident Evils, Streets of Rage. Golden Iron 64. I actually have that, I could play that if I wanted to on this. I don't know how good do. I don't know how well it would run. McDonald's. Are, are you really eating McDonald's chicken nuggets there? Yeah, I'll do it on the Valheim one. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it on the Valheim one. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Obviously, it, you know what YouTube's like with links and stuff, so I'll I'll type the name of the website that you need, but I will like do it in a way that it won't become a link. I'll just like I'll I'll tell you the name of the site without typing it, so it doesn't become a link. So otherwise, they'll probably mark it as spam. Look at this. So like. Is so the link as a child is so small, is not meant to really be carrying this big adult shield. So when he tries to use the shield, he just does this like a tortoise. You can block things coming from overhead. <laughs> what are you thinking of playing? What kind of um, games are you thinking of? Really? Are you thinking of like an emulator like this? Like, because this is a Nintendo 64 one. But obviously, you can get other types as well. Is there any particular kind of game or em emulation you're thinking of? Yeah, I was going to order a real burger for dinner, but Patty got me wanting nuggets now. <laughs> Patty! Got people wanting burgers. This one, okay. Well, this is obviously uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. There's another one called uh, the exact same title, but The Master Quest. And just the dungeons have kind of like been remixed a little bit inside. But yeah, this, this, this is a good one. I think you'd enjoy it playing it yourself. I'll, well, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I will, yeah, definitely leave you a message on the Valheim. I think there's a fairy around here. <clears throat> see, so you see that fairy I just got? You see that little, oh, one second, let me just get rid of these bats. <clears throat> yeah, if you saw that, um, little pink fairy that I collected. 
can actually capture the fairies in these bottles. So if I caught it in that bottle, I would have the fairy. And if I died, the fairy would automatically come out the bottle and revive me with full health. So it's good to catch those fairies in bottles if you get a chance. I don't need that. Some nuggets you won't regret it. Yeah, I like when I when I dip things in sauce. I tend to like barbecue sauce. What sauces do you like to dip stuff in? I like dipping nuggets in barbecue sauce. Mmm. Yeah, so you see those guys there, Hilly, in advance when you do eventually fight them. Armoured statues. You have to chuck two bombs at them to kill them. Can't kill them with swords. <laughs> Yeah, I love barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce on pizzas, but barbecue sauce on everything. Barbecue sauce on pineapple. Barbecue sauce on ice cream. Barbecue sauce in my water. Honey, oh yeah, honey mustard's nice. I'm using a controller, yeah. I don't know if you can sync it with a key. Uh, yeah, you can, you can actually. I think you can sync it with a keyboard and mouse, but I'm using a controller. Oh, look, I can show you here, look. So, another theory. I can catch the theory, hopefully. It's gone into the wall. She's gone into the wall. There. There, I caught her. Yeah, I think you can use a keyboard actually. Yeah, you probably can. Because when I click in the settings, originally everything's mapped to a keyboard. So, yeah, probably you can. And the good thing about these games is they don't take up any space because they're that small. <laughs> You're downloading seconds. Hot mustard. Wow. I I, I kind of want to get into mustard more, as ridiculous as that sounds. I, I want to get into hot sauces and mustard. <laughs> is there any... Okay, this is an interesting... I was thinking about this earlier. Is there any foods that, like, you used to hate or not like, but you kind of forced yourself to keep trying it, and eventually you did like it in the end? Because I didn't used to like avocados much, but I kept trying them, and I eventually started to like them. And the same with olives, I didn't used to like olives. I, I eventually ended up liking the olives. It's really good with their fries. And what else didn't I used to like? Uh oh, it's the boss boss room time. So here's the here's the, you get a dungeon map by the way, Healy Look, so you can like check what level you're on, and it usually marks the occasional thing on the map. Bit of prim, bit of a crude map, but yeah, I used to eat olives. Green ones, oh, my microphone. microphone fell off. Green ones, black ones, never used to like olives. Didn't used to like avocados. Ah, uh, yeah. So some of my friends who I know, they don't like certain foods. And I like them now, the food that they don't like. But I didn't used to like them. I just kind of like. Your, my favourite Macca's meal is. Macca's meal. <laughs> Filet of fish bun and fries and apple juice. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> We're on the boss. It's time for the boss.
What could be down here? What do you think's down here? Are you scared? What could be lurking down this, do you think? There's something down there, we're going to find out. It's coming! <laughs> Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo Open that mouth oh. Come on, open that nice mouth. Yeah, killing any dinosaur in sight just like Laura. Unfortunately, he's not quite as powerful as the T-Rex. I think I can get any McDonald's. I love McDonald's. Yeah, it's terrible for you, but it does taste good, even though there are loads of MD haters. <laughs> what, are you going to order one, Corey, or are you going to pop to, like, a drive through And so the King Dodongo found his final resting place. <clears throat> yes, solidified in the lava. Time to leave. Time to leave. <whistles> These are Gorons. Yeah, were Gorons in Twilight Princess? I think they were actually. <laughs> Empty calories without much substance. You need to start eating rocks like these guys. The Gorons eat rocks. Why aren't you eating rocks? And that big rock blocking the cave? Yeah, it's connected to the USB. <coughs> it's an Xbox controller, actually. Connected to USB. <coughs> he said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You on the other hand risked your life for us. <coughs> In fact I can tell you what this, I could probably tell you what this site is called. If I get my, um, let me just get the phone. Look at that. It's literally called Hilly, Hilly, it's called Yeah, I'm mixing it all together. Okay, Hilly, the website is called emulatorgames.net. All one word, no dashes or anything. Emulatorgames.net. And then you go to the emulator section. Go to the emulator section and get the... Uh, this one is called... 
you can go to the em emulator section, go to Nintendo 64 and this particular M64 emulator I'm using is called Project Project 64 that's the one I'm using Project 64 and then you go to the obviously you go to the ROMs N64 ROMs then you can find the Zelda games then you just download both extract them load it up and you play McDonald's may not be the best food, but they don't uh, charge an arm and a leg. Like, yeah, I can remember years ago, my friends they all walked into Five Guys, and then like they saw the prices and they all just turned around and left. <laughs> Death Mountain Trail. So, I think before we go up there. Ah, uh, can I climb this wall? See, I wouldn't have thought that you could climb that wall. <clears throat> but you can. You destroyed a gold skit. How many gold skitulas have I got now? Sixteen. I need twenty for a reward. So now, uh, now I've got to go on top of the mountain, on top of Death Mountain. So is everyone here getting McDonald's? Getting McDonald's and watching the stream? Is that the plan? Is it a McDonald's party stream? <laughs> what for five guys? Okay, cool. Oh, yes, I want to show you this. Look at this grotto. Okay, I want to show you this. This has made me laugh. Yeah, that's true. American McDonald's has so many more additives added, don't they? Yeah, our McDonald's is not as, yeah, it's not as bad as the American version. Um... Okay, let me release this fairy. I want to show you something funny here. So I think if you play, if you if you get this, uh, there's a song in the game you can learn called the Song of Storms. I think it's is it or is it the Sun song? I forget which song it is you play. Oh, actually, I don't think I have the correct song. I can't do it. You play a certain song, and the cow will say, Ooh, I feel like I'm producing a lot of milk now. You, would you like some? And the cow will fill your bottle with milk, and you can you get two drinks out of it, and it heals your health. <laughs> Shall we eat together? <laughs> oh. This is where wearing the shield like a tortoise comes in handy for this volcanic bar. Your junk food has so much junk in it.
<laughs> hey princess, how are you? I saw that you was playing Zelda. I mean, sorry, Tomb Raider, not Zelda. I got Zelda on the mind. Did you have a good stream? Sorry, I couldn't be there to see it. I actually still want to catch up on the other part, though, to be fair. Welcome back. Everyone's talking about McDonald's in here. <laughs> Everyone's chatting about McDonald's. Just got rid of King Dodongo. Oh, I think at night time there's a Skultula on here. Obelisk. Oh yeah, that can be a confusing level, that. Did you leave it at that? At the obelisk? I've grown to like that level. I do kind of know my way around it now. But it was very confusing the first time. You've done very well to come all the way up here, Ben. This is the summit of the sacred death mountain. Oot. Yeah, is this Lara Croft or what? This is a Tomb Raider knockoff, this is. It is said that the clouds surrounding these feet reflect the condition of Death Mountain. When they look normal, it is at peace. Climbing all the way up here just proves how smart you are. Now I want to see you make another smart move. The Great Fairy lives on this mountain top. I never realised that mountain top was one word like that, but okay, it makes sense. And she will give you a new skill. She's the leader of the fairies, you know. Hmm? I will perch here and wait for you. When you're ready to go back down, I can help you. Now get going. Oh, well. Yeah, taking orders from an owl. Or is it an owl? Is it really an owl? Could be more to that plot, Doc, and I'm not going to spoil it. So, okay, so this is Death Mountain, and if you go in it, you'll see a timer show up. It's because you're boiling to death. You're not meant to be here yet, really. You need a red tunic to coat. I picked that first item up after letting down a bridge when that I knew what to do now. Oh yeah, because you need four of them, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, there's four of them that you need to... There's four levers that you need to pull, basically. And you'll get one of those items for each, pretty much each bridge that drops. I forget what this is here. Kind of pointless, I'm actually. There's actually, Princess, uh, there's actually a couple of really good tricks you can do in that level that helps you skip stuff. And because I'm so used to skipping things, I forgot the correct way to do things. It's the Goblin King trying to trap me in the labyrinth. <laughs> I like these little grottos, these are kind of nice. Kind of relaxing. Oh, what the? I wanted the bug. Bombs. Yes, sir. Like I said, there's meant to be a trick. I want to know if it's true. I might Google it. If you stand still, I think it's true. I'm sure I've done it. If you stand still, butterflies. And did Mr. B show up yet? No, he's not been in yet. <laughs> if the butterfly touches the end of the stick, they will turn into a fairy and give you health. I'm sure it's true, and I'm sure I've done it before. You have to touch the very hands. 
I swear I've not imagined it. Or am I thinking of the butterflies in Mario 64 doing something? I'm going to Google that. Or someone Google it. <laughs> Ocarina of Time. Butterflies. Deku stick. I'm sure it'll say something. How you doing, Blast? Oh, this uh, fairy queen, she's a bit creepy. Okay, that's the correct song, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too bad, thanks. I'm doing okay. <laughs> Get back to doing some exercise on Monday after this lazy weekend. Lazy weekend gaming before I exercise on Monday. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Doc, look at this. This is what you've been missing out on, Doc, all these years. I'm the great fairy of power. I am going to crank you a sword technique. Receive it now. Oh, that's quite uh, a view. <laughs> you mastered the secret sword technique of spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon, raise B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate the stick once and press B. Uh, I'd say it's consistent in general. I'm consistently in general. The last couple of weeks have been a bit iffy, but... I always try and do at least three to four days a week if I can. Although some, these last couple of weeks the exercise has been a bit on the cruddy side. <laughs> but I did something I guess. So now I've got a magic meter. Now we truly are playing an RPG. Now I can do this. I forgot how cool that was. That fear is in sword technique. <laughs> Look at that though when you charge up your weapon. The way it like darkens everything. Oh hang on. Okay, you can take me down please. Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the Great Fairy's power. But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Harold, at least not yet. If you are going back down the mountain, I like how you like give you the hint in the red, go back down the mountain, guys. I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons and hold on tight. Oh, there's a few collectibles I've accidentally left behind here. Oh, well, it don't matter. They're not important. This is certainly not going to be a 100% run. I'm going to try and get what I can, though. So what I like about... What the benefit of him... The benefit of the owl bringing you down here. So we've just flown all the way from there, look. And now we're here. As you can now walk over here. And if you look, there's a little secret door at the side of this roof. You can only get by that owl dropping you there. You drop down and go in this house. 
And for some reason, this person's house has got a cage with a cow in it. So, as you may have figured, Hilly, these pieces of heart, once you collect four of them in total, it will give you like another health heart meter piece. I'm sorry that you're stuck in this house, cow. I'm such a slob when it comes to exercise, but how oh, my age, oh well. <laughs> Flexible, pain spot on my life. Only now getting a few cracks and groans. Yeah, I think you're in, you seem like you're in pretty good shape though, to me, from what I've seen. Actually, that reminds me, uh, years ago, didn't you fall over and break your arm or shoulder or something? I'm sure there was a video where you fell over, didn't you? And you fractured something? I'm not speedrunning this game. <laughs> I'm not speedrunning this. Oh, oh, I don't want to let the bugs out. Quick, let me kick, get them back. Stop. That's what I wanted. Mm, yeah, I think I want to go to the graveyard. Here's a little bit of advice for you, Hilly, if ever you get round to playing this. See so this young lady in distress. So this this lady in distress. You have to find her chickens. They're all in this town. You chuck them back in there and she gives you a glass of bottle. I've already done that though. You broke your humorous. <laughs> humorous. <laughs> How is that now? Is it all healed up? Do you have any trouble with it or is it okay now? Hey, actually, Hilly, I've got a question for you. Because, <clears throat> um, I remember. Oh, there we go. I remember. Obviously, you used to have your hair in a shorter style, didn't you? You used to have shorter hair. And obviously, you've got much longer hair now. What made you decide to change this style? Did you just get a bit bored of it? Or what, any particular reason you felt like having longer hair? Little magic bottle, little magic jar. Because I know for years you had short hair, didn't you? Oh, you haven't got it right, that's a shame. Say a bit of mu movement. Yeah, I'd say you're not doing too bad there, because there's people who I see walking around who look like they're only 40 and they're completely crippled with a I think it's kind of their own their own fault for not uh, looking after themselves, but yeah, uh, I'd say you're in pretty good nick. Right, so where are we going now? I hope that's a cat trying to come in. One second. Oh, I'm back. 
Let me see my microphone. The cat actually ran away. I don't know what he wanted. <laughs> Covid. My address is closed up, so I just scrub it out and I just have it away. Yeah, yeah, have it the way it was when you were young. Did it? Meningitis. Yeah, there's a guy who lives on my street that had meningitis when he was young. And um, he can't, he struggles to walk a bit. He can, he can walk, but it's messed up the way he walks. I'm sure there's a spider in that tree at night time. <laughs> Oh, I want to go to Syria. I guess we're going back. To, no, let's go to the farm in the daytime. Uh oh, the scary night time. Yeah, Jabu's belly, that's it. Jabu's belly. Do I need to go to. He said about Syria, though. Do I actually need to go to Syria again? I don't remember having to go to her again. Well, Navi said about Syria. I think I'm going to go to the farm though, because uh, I need to get a pony song. So let's get a pony song in the daytime. When she was three, she had many jacks when she was three. Yeah, uh, my neighbour, he had it when he was a little kid, meningitis. We'll just ignore those. We don't want those. And, uh, wow, look how quick the moon's going down. No, oh, look how big he is as well. No, I'm not on Instagram or anything. I'm not very social. <laughs> Maybe I should make one one day. Maybe I should get with the 2024 20, crowd. Okay, so it's daytime now, so I should be able to get a bonus song. What do you think your favourite um, dungeon is on this game, Razzy? Slash Princess Tycoon. <laughs> What do you think your favourite dungeon is on this game? <laughs> oh, look at this, you'll like this, Healy. Look at this ranch. Mm -hmm. She was saved by someone who had the symptoms. Oh, that's good then. Is your sister, did you say your sister's younger than you? Look at this nice big ranch. All this space. Mm. This is Hilly in her younger years when she was singing. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. She's now 40. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Favourite dungeon? Uh, for it, yeah, the, the forest temple's got good music, I reckon. Yeah, the forest temple's got some good music in it. Pretty creepy. I think that's got some of the best music for sure, the forest temple. Her name is Epona, isn't she cute? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at Epona. Epona is cute. Epona. Look how small the pony is. So cute. It seems like a pony is afraid of you, fairy boy. And <laughs> the voiceovers in my accent. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Oh, cute Karina. Are you going to play this song with that Karina? Okay, this is the song. You're getting up. 
no problem. I'm glad you had fun. Have a nice day over in Australia. Take care. <laughs> I've got water here. I am definitely hydrated. I've got two bottles of water. I love I love drinking water out of glass bottles. With the nice and cold out of the fridge. That's the way to go. Mm. That's the one thing I'd miss if I die. Well, when I die, I will die eventually, I assume. When I die, freezing cold water. That's what I'll, I would miss if it was possible to miss. Hey, a pony! What are you doing to me? Oh, oh! You're working on uh, Sunday, are you? What time is it now? Yeah, I guess I'll be going pretty soon. To be fair, I I do fancy like a slightly earlier night. Bit of an early night, that would be lovely. I'm kind of looking forward to when it get. well, I'm not actually looking forward to when it happens, but you know winter when it gets dark early. Perhaps like going to bed a bit earlier and just get, getting a book, doing a bit of reading in bed before going to sleep. I don't like to do it in summer, it doesn't feel right. Stable. Nothing in here, I don't believe. I'm trying to think of one of my favourite tomb. I like this I like this spirit temple. I think the spirit temple's got really cool music too. So mysterious. Oh this is that mini game. I forget exactly Oh you have to find the three next to him. I'm not reading anything at the minute actually, but I do have an a uh, you know Alien the movies. There's like an alien novel or a book. A newish one, I think it is. So I'm gonna read that. Well, I'll be if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malon back in the good moods. Yeah, it, it definitely looked like because this looks like Mario. That other guy was definitely a, a Luigi clone. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. <laughs> yeah, this is Mario for sure. He has the Bowser brooch. Super cuckoos, of course they are. I'm gonna throw these cuckoos into. <laughs> Do you see that chicken? The gaggle of normal cuckoos. So I gotta find these three special ones. If you can find them, oh, if you can't find them, I win. Okay, let's play. Here we go. Wow, I didn't even get a chance to see them land. Like, if you can get the camera angle right before the game starts, you can see them land on the floor. Okay, that's two of them. Is it you? Is it you? It's one of you. It's, it's that one. <laughs> Golly, I'll be darned. It's plum incredible. That was the last one. You found them all. Hey, you. You've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. How would you like to marry Malon? Yes, no. Yeah, go on then. Oh, uh -huh. I was just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? A sample of our very own Long Long Milk. You'll be energised the moment you drink it. I do, I love these milk bottles. Like the design of them. So my niece, she's got a Etsy shop. And she does like wooden lino carvings. Um, and she's done one of the Long Long Milk bottle, and it's one of her best sellers <laughs> on her Etsy shop. <laughs> yeah, let's look at him. Like, like Rezzy said, 
Mario with Bowser brooch on his chest. I wish, it, I wish there was a bit more you could do on the ranch because it's nice and relaxing here. Do you have a switch, Rezzy? I don't have a switch. Kinda would like to have one, but I don't have one. Who put those rupees in that tree? <laughs> right, what we're we doing now? Um, Oh, I, I genuinely have to kind of forgot what I'm doing there. So you go to. I know it's Jabu's stomach. I think. Go to Zora's domain. I think. <coughs> you have a Switch. Have you played the new Zelda games? Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. <coughs> Sorry for the I can't mute this microphone. It doesn't have a mute button. I just have to cough. I always thought this bit was very strange. This bit here. This bit of land here. Just this just strange little landmark in the field. Like, there's nothing really here at all. <laughs> Strange little area. Not yet. I'm not too fussed about Tears of the Kingdom, but Breath of the Wild. I guess it would be kind of fun to play through it. Zora's River. This howl doesn't all talk forever. Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already then. Just ahead lies Zora's Domain. The, the Zora's serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. That I will. That I will do. Good night here and take care. Have a good sleep. Have a nice rest. And you, you Rezzy, take care. Good night. Thanks for joining. Sleep well. I think I'm going to get going in a second, to be fair. I think I'll get to Zora's domain and leave it there. I think that's the plan. I'm sure there's a grotto in here. Maybe not. Yes, you should nap as well. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be going pretty soon. To be fair, won't mind a bit of a rest. In fact, in five, in less than five minutes, I'll have been streaming for four hours. Let it hit four hours, and then I'll leave it. Look at this dude. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. Go on then. I'll buy a couple of magic beans. They, yeah, they go up in price every time you buy one.
Thank you. I, I believe that no spiders come out of this. I don't think a spider comes out of that one. No. I think I want to pick this chicken up. I think the, I think this chicken helps me get to a heart piece. Have you got a switch blast? Yeah. You're streaming, aren't you? I, on my phone, it looks like you're streaming. I'm not sure, though. Um. I said, uh, have you got a switch? I think. I think that's what I said. Hey! Chicken, I wanted you. I don't know how... Oh, the chicken left me. That's what I needed a chicken for. Float down there. Oh, have you been here all along, Jason? In the background. What do you play on the Switch, or have you played most on Switch? Oh yeah, you're streaming, right? Not a very good game at this point. What you mean, Matthew 3 hasn't been? I'm on your stream now, oh, Phantom popped in to see you. And Dwayne. Oh, I played Mario Party 2 with some friends the other day, actually. We played Mario Party 2 on Switch. I won. I landed on two mystery blocks that had stars in them. I got lucky. Just kidding. <laughs> Ring drops. So you don't like it as much as the other Mafia games, then, Jason? You're soaking in the tub. Oh, I need the chicken back. I need to go back and get the chicken, I think. Yeah, I'm one of those people who prefer to soak in a bathtub. I know some people love the showers, but I like bathtubs. Get in a bathtub. Oh, get lost, owl. Part three, getting done. <laughs> Please, I just want to get to Zora's domain. Leave me alone.
Game messed up or something. No major objectives. Been delivering trucks for three hours. Wow. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Sneezing. I can't mute the microphone, there's no mute button on it. When I finish this stream, Jason, I'm going to quick check a Golden Eye. See how it runs on this emulator. I think Golden Eye runs better on a different N64 emulator, so I might get that one. I'm going to play Golden Arm that. What do you think you'll start next, Jason? Have you got anything in mind what you might play? I always liked this area with all the waterfalls. So this is what you need the chicken for a lot. Specifically to come over here. Yes. You can go now, chicken. Hmm. You've played your part. You deserve to live the rest of your life in peace. You don't know. Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to play N64 stuff a little bit in Super Nintendo. I just wasn't sure what... I mean, I've got LEGO City to continue, which is fun. I'm loving that game. But this is kind of... I wanted to get this set up so I could stream other stuff. In fact, I've got... I've had three... Three notifications that I've had subscribers. I've had three subscribers. I don't know if it's because of this game or something else, but I've had three subscribers over the last four hours. Um, one off eight hundred and forty subscribers. <laughs> um. Okay, so we need to play. Zelda's lullaby. <laughs> you lost one. <laughs> You were probably sick of seeing you driving around and delivering them things. <laughs> no, to be honest, I think sometimes when you lose them, it's just people, like sometimes they're just accounts that have closed or something like that. Oh, this is one of the most relaxing parts of the game. Look at this. It's, yeah, that's strange. If he said he streamed it, but there's no content on there, yeah. Look how relaxing this is. That was cool. That was a cool effect for the N64. All that water reflection. So pretty. Maybe I should just end the stream here now. I think I'm going to end the stream here now. Might start ignoring. Why do you think there's something a bit strange about him? <laughs>
you know what you need to do, Jason? You need to get your cat camera on again. But yeah, I think this is the end of the stream now, so I'm going to turn off, get an early night's sleep, I think. But thanks for tuning in, everybody that's tuned in and lurking or chatting. It's been fun. I've enjoyed playing this again. It's been a long time. So I'm going to log off and I'll see you all when I play something else. Probably Lego or something tomorrow. He goes out of his way to talk stupid. Yeah, there's a few, there's a few people like that. There's a few people like that. Anyway, if you're still streaming, I'll pop on and see you, Jason. Lego tomorrow. I can do a Lego tomorrow, Patty, if that's what you want to see. I'll do some Lego tomorrow in the evening. See, Doc, enjoy your food, if you've not eaten it yet. Enjoy your barbecue or mustard. Honey mustard. I love honey mustard. I'll do a Lego tomorrow. I'll I'll, tr I'll test it, but I'm not testing it on this stream. I'll test it offline. <laughs> okay, see you. And Patty, you better Patty, you better show up if I play Lego tomorrow. You better. <laughs>